And I wonder sometimes, do Cork players come out of a championship that's refereed differently and it's coming against them? Uh, have you even heard this sort of conversation? No, I've heard it. I've absolutely heard it. I, I don't agree with it, like, but I've heard it. Like, yeah. you have to understand as well, you know, like, inter-county hurling, right? We're together. So Cork hurlers have been together since, what? Let's, I don't know, last November. And then they're going into championship together as a group. They're preparing. They're playing league games. Like, club hurling doesn't prepare them for that. So yeah. the club championship is coming after it. You know what I mean? Like, so it's not like, so basically what I'm saying, to get ready for this championship, Cork would have played 10 or 12 inter-county teams refereed by inter-county refs. So they know what's a foul and what's not a foul. And the intensity that, look, our strength, again, I put it to you that way, isn't like, our, one of our strengths isn't our physicality and size. I thought in the league, they had a bit, I thought the Limerick game mm, in the league yeah. was very good, like, you know, and I thought that they, they really did it there. But like, again, it's the offensive play that I'm kind of more, um, I'd like to see, kind of go back to where it was and put in fear in that position that they're creating four and five goals scoring opportunities like they did last year. Tim O'Mahony off the shoulder, Robbie O'Flynn going with him, hand passing over top and going for goal. I just think that that's not as exciting as it was this year. And that's that's not a slight nor a dig, not anyone. What I'm saying is that it's still there and just hopefully they'll find it. And like what I'm trying to say is, like I said to you about the tweaks, like I would put Patrick Argon centre forward on Sunday. I would put Tim O'Mahony in midfield. I'd put Rob Downey in wing back and I'd have Daryl Leary or, or David Callan at full back. And assuming that Jermella is out, like, like now all of a sudden you have something different. You've tied the Borka sitting off Patrick Horgan, you know, and you're kind of thinking, can he do that and stuff like that? But and it bring a bit of excitement because, like, they need to do something just to kind of reinvigorate the dressing room, reinvigorate the spirit, and 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 the Cork support as well. And in in terms of like the overall game plan and trying to work through the hands and you know run it and that kind of stuff. I know you're talking about tweaking in terms of like moving lads' positions and bringing new lads in because maybe down you will add more physicality. But do you think that they need to continue developing the same game plan they're going with? Look, again, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep the perfect ball. They're trying to hold possession until you see the perfect run. But unfortunately, what happens in is it gets static and it allows opposition to come out and tackle you from behind, like Limerick, like Waterford, are brilliant at. So you don't want to allow Waterford the opportunity to hunt you down. I'm always a believer against the Limerick and the Waterford. Like, it's very easy, you know, sitting here on a laptop explaining how to do it and actually on the field doing it. You need to move the ball from the point of contact. So if a wing back has the ball, he's going to have a wing forward and a corner forward coming up to harass him. You need to shift that ball 10 yards to move it away from those two lads to go again. Now, I like to see ball going forward, though, and I think at the moment, Cork are just going backwards and lateral a small bit too much. I know what to try to do, get Mark Coleman on the ball. Of course, you want to get Mark Coleman on the ball. Um, but you need to get the right ball going forward and a bit more diagonal deliveries into the corner, which suit the players as well. Like, was, like And that's the reason I shift Hoggy up to send forward. He's not getting as much ball um as as he used to get so i, I like that's what i'd like to bring him back up maybe link the plates into forward 